calling Snake. The word psycho scared me a lot. But did you know that the current cyclone gas actually is gas with a normal language? In today's video, we're going to talk about cyclones, how they're named, and why they're named. Friends, a very warm welcome. My name is Nihant and I welcome you to my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hi guys, I'm so excited to be here. This is my first video on YouTube. Before we get into today's video, I want to share something with you. Did you know that gaining knowledge is very important? Knowledge can mean information and also deeper understanding. What I meant to say is that knowledge is for everyone. And my channel is for everyone's knowledge. On this channel, mostly I will do videos about knowledge. A small request from my side. Please get a pen or paper or pencil, whatever you have available with you right now. Because in this present situation, I am unable to text on my screen. Maybe in the future I'll get a whiteboard and put it back here somewhere and write on it so you can understand it clearly. Before we learn how and why are cyclones named, at the first point, we're going to learn what is a cyclone. You know what is a cyclone? The term cyclone is derived from the Greek word cyclos, which means the coiling of the snake. And cyclones are created by atmospheric disturbances are under a low pressure area and are usually accompanied by violent storms and severe weather conditions. Now let's see how our cyclones named. If the speed of a cyclone is 34 nautical miles per hour, then it becomes necessary to give it a special name. However, if a storm crosses 74 miles per hour, then it is classified into a hurricane, cyclone, or typhoon. And any cyclone that is formed in any ocean basin around the world is named by the Regional Specialized Meteorological Centers, which means RSMCS, and Tropical Cyclone Warning Centers, TCWCS. Did you know that there are a total of six RSMCSs in the world, including our own Indian Meteorological Department, which means IMD? The World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for the Asia Pacific, which is ESCAP, have been naming cyclonic storms since 2000. Now, our Indian Meteorological Department, IMD, names the cyclones over the North Indian Ocean, including the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. It also issues advisories to 12 other nations in the region on the development of cyclones and storms. Wait a second, am I boring? I don't think so, because knowledge never lets you down. That's the reason I'm doing knowledge-based videos at this moment. Who knows, maybe in the future I'll do vlogging, cooking, fun challenges, and whatever you ask me to do. But in the year 2000, a group of nations called WMO and ESCAP panel, which includes Bangladesh and India, Myanmar, Maldives, um, Oman, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Thailand decided to name cyclones in the region. 2018, five more countries were added. Iran, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Yemen. After the aforementioned countries will send in suggestions to the Panel on Tropical Cyclones, which is nothing but PTC, will finalize the list. If I'm not wrong, in April 2020, AMD released a list of 169 cyclone names and 13 suggestions were sent in by the aforementioned WMO and ESCAP member nations. Until now, we've learned about how our cyclones name, and now we're going to learn about why our cyclones name, but before that, what do we need a name? And what's my name? My name is Nihan. And just like that, we need a name for the cyclones to recognize them easily. So, cyclones are named to identify them easily, as it would be difficult to remember numbers in technical terms. Also, it would be easy for the media, scientific community, and disaster management to alert the preparedness of the community. By the way, how do we get a name? My name is Nihan. But how did I get that name? Most of us, especially Indians, check their child's horoscope before giving them the name. But it depends on the religion to religion. Just like that, even cyclones have guidelines to name them. We are naming the cyclone 
The proposal name must be neutral to politics, political figures, religious beliefs, and genders, and it must not hurt the sentiments of any group of people around the world. It must not be rude and cruel in nature. The name must be easy and short to pronounce. As per the guidelines, the name of the cyclone must be a maximum of eight letters and be given with its pronunciation and voiceover. Also, once the name is used, it will not be used again. It will be ceased. One more thing: cyclone names are given by countries on a rotational basis. For example, cyclone Oki, the name was given by Bangladesh, which means I in the Bengali language, and cyclone Vayu was given by India, which means wind in Sanskrit, and cyclone Takati was given by what is named from Myanmar, which means highly vocal lizard. And now the current cyclone Yas got its name from Oman, which means jasmine. Until now, this is what I explored about cyclone, and I'm presenting the same to you. I hope you learned something new today. If there's anything wrong in my content, please drop a comment down below, and please, 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 please subscribe, share, and like this video. It because it will motivate me to make more interesting videos. Bye.